Hello and how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Can you tell us your name? My name is Chiwe Tala Charity. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Enugu State, Nigeria. That is beautiful. So that means you are an Igbo, right? Yeah. Okay, tell us what kind of an amputee are you? I am double leg amputee. Double leg amputee. Yeah. And can you tell us when you became an amputee? I became an APT from childhood. Wow. It must have been very challenging. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do you do for a living? I'm a student and also a makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yes. That is beautiful. I presume you made yourself up. Yeah. Okay. So does your makeup um, outfit have any name? Yeah, Can it you does. please tell us the name of your makeup outfit? The name of my makeup outfit is Classic touch. Classic touch. Yeah. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So what do you intend to achieve in life? I tend to be an influencer. Okay. Influencing people positively. That's beautiful. Changing the mindset of people about yeah. persons living with disability, I believe. Yeah. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So how have life been treating you as an amputee? It has not been easy, it has really been challenging, but I'm a strong woman, so I always fight. Hmm, I like that. I always fight. So, um, do you face discrimination or challenges with persons who are not disabled? I mean, do you face any challenges at all? Of course I do. So can you just give us a hint about the kind of challenges you pass through in the hands of the so-called average people? Sometimes when you come, when I go for an occasion, because of my condition, they try to shift me away. Sometimes I have to prove a point. Sometimes I have to fight to be in certain places. So it's really, really challenging. And then friends, do you have friends at all? Yeah, I do have friends, but they are in my university. Okay. And do you face rejections within your classmates and friends in school? My friends, for my friends, no. But from some of my classmates, yes. Okay, no problems. Now, can you tell us uh, what advice do you have for persons living with disabilities in general? The only advice I have for them is for them to be the best, be happy, be yourself. Don't let your condition stop you from becoming somebody. Nobody should make you look less. Tell yourself that you are you can be the best in anything you do. Don't let anybody discriminate you for any reason. Be happy. Don't see your condition as a disease. It's just a challenge. You can pass it. Hmm. You're really speaking like an influencer. <laughs> All right. Thank now you. tell us. What advice do you have for the abled body people that thinks that uh, people living with disability are not supposed to be part of the society? For me, if I would tell the abled people, I would tell them to take everybody as one. Sometimes there are things that people with disability can do for you that you that is able cannot do for yourself. Sometimes we should just take everybody along. Nobody is better than anybody. In life, some of us are facing some challenges or the other. Nobody is different. We are all the same. All right. Have you been faced with this notion that people living with disability attracted it on themselves? That is a cause or maybe as a result of the evil they have done. So it is a way of God paying them back for their evil day. What do you have to say about this? For me, I saw myself this way. I wouldn't say I attracted it as a cause or anything. It's just your mindset. Whatever you feed your mind is what you become. Change your mindset. All this, this disability is not as a form of a cause or anything. It's just the way you think. Thank you. So what you're trying to say in a nutshell is that your disability is not inability. Yes. And it is not a curse. It can happen to anybody. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that wonderful um, uh, comment. Now, can you tell us your name once more? My name is Chiwet Ala Charity. All right. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You're welcome.